How do you recognize your purpose? How do you recognize your purpose? How do you recognize your purpose? Growing up as a kid, like, I knew I wanted to sing. I think I was like three or four, maybe, when Mary J redid I'm Going Down. <laughs> and, baby, I used to sing that. But, like, my life depended on it. I was saying that joker. I didn't know the words because I was saying I'm going to die. I didn't know she was going down. But, um, so I knew like from then like I wanted to sing and so I'm PK so I couldn't sing other stuff in the presence of my daddy. So the older I got and the closer I got to God, I was like, I'm supposed to be doing this for him. Yeah, right. And so the closer and the closer I got, I was kind of just stuck in that battle of if I wanted to do this worldly thing or if I wanted to do it for him. And I kept saying, I said, Lord, I said, well, if you want me to do this, because by that time I started playing. And so I said, Lord, if you want me to do all this stuff, show me. And so, boom, my daddy died. He was like the musician and the cover for me, teaching me stuff. And so I started playing for a church. And then I was part-time over there, and I said, Lord, I don't think I'm supposed to be doing this. I said, if it's for real, keep showing me. And the lady that was the head musician of the church I was at, she died. And I was like, all right. So I started being full-time. And so the more older I got, I was like, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm sharing my gift, and I like to sing for other people so that they can get closer to him. I, I don't be bragging about being anointed or whatnot, but I believe I am. I yes. know I have something, okay. you know, that, that, okay. that draws saints. I mean, I think I had my passion long before I knew what my purpose was. And then I found okay. out what my purpose was. Okay. They go hand in hand. So I think you just need to, you're not going to find out what you're supposed to be doing purpose-wise until you get on that level with God. Your mama can't do it, your daddy can't do it, you can't be depending on your friends, because they may not make it in. Mm. So this is you and this is God. And you gotta get on that level with him. And I'm not saying you have arrived when you do that, because it's still a struggle. It's gonna always be a little struggle. Don't let nobody tell you, you ain't gonna be tempted. Tempt to Jesus. And if he can overcome it, you can overcome it. Is it more important for passion or purpose? Purpose. Purpose. Because what you're passionate about. I your mean, passion should be your purpose, though. Right. It, like I said, it goes hand in hand. Mm -hmm. But for some people's passion, ain't right. of the Lord. I'm just going to say, so in, in my own personal opinion, I feel like passion is more important than the purpose because I think you can't have one without the other. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I feel like you should be passionate about whatever it is that you're passionate about. You know, because what it's going to do is it's going to allow people to see someone who is truly happy about what it is that they're doing. Like, think about it like this. Like, we may have someone who is is a gifted pastor, you know, but he may not be passionate about it. So the words that are coming out, you know, it may be by the book, but if he's not saying it from a passionate place, if he doesn't really truly believe in it, if he's not just completely full of joy, like... It's just words that you're saying. But if we've ever watched, you know, American Idol or, you know, one of these talent shows, you know, and someone will sing and, you know, and and they'll say, okay, yeah, it was, it was good. And, and we who have the untrained ear, we may think, man, they, they just really did a good job. But, you know, the producers, the people who have the trained ear, like they'll say, you know, they'll, they'll, take, they'll take them to a different place mentally and say, think about the first time you were in love or the first time, you know, think about your parents or whatever it is that, that emotionally takes you to a different place. And then they sing that same song and it just fulfills you in a different way than what it did before right. yeah. you got to that point. Yeah. And so that's kind of why I say that for me, I think that passion is more important because once you have the passion, you can give your all towards your purpose and hopefully that love that extra level of passion that you have inside of you will speak the testimony that's needed to someone who would not have heard it if it wasn't passion filled you know like i think that our stories 
I, I, you know, we, we, we're given layers in our own testimony, not necessarily for us, but for us to reach somebody else who we would not have been able to if we didn't have those extra layers. And so I just think that you have to be passionate, full of, full of life, and just be full of love for whatever it is that you're about to be able to pour that into somebody else. Otherwise, it's just that preacher that's just biblically, biblically right, but not really saying it from a point of, of belief. I was just gonna say, if you look at it from a Bible perspective, you had two prime examples of a passion, the difference between passion and purpose. You had, um, you had Peter and you had Judas. Both of their passions was Jesus, follow Jesus. Go with Jesus, Jesus is the way. But their purpose was two different things for their passion. Listen. Peter's purpose was to betray Jesus. Hmm. Judas' purpose was to, was, I'm sorry, Judas' purpose was to betray Peter, um, Jesus. Jesus. And Peter's purpose was to deny Jesus. That was way more important than their passion because that's what they was made to do, their purpose. And me, I went to cosmetology school. I spent $20,000 going to school, getting a, getting a degree that I didn't go take the license to get because I was passionate about hair. I can do hair like it ain't nothing, but I, I don't like to do it anymore. It wasn't my purpose. Mm. So that's so why I say, you can, I mean, you can have passion. Passion is good. But at the end of the day, if you wasn't here to follow what your passion is, it's not going to matter. Because yeah. your purpose is going to fulfill it. I mean, he said he'll give you the desires of your heart. You got so to seek him. Your passion, your passion are what your heart desires. But just because it's your passion that your heart desires, you have to do his part before you can do your part. Yeah, mm -hmm.